decided to come over and visit Sandy and check and see how everyone's doing, and she just got home, and she's feeling a little tipsy. Good for you, girl. Gotta live your life. Lou is in his wolf form as he has been as of late non-stop, and he is currently out hunting because he's wolfing out. He wants to steal something very desperately. Maybe he'll do that while he's out. And here we have the cunt's newest baby, Abby, just sitting here on the floor, sleeping with the cat, where most cunts kids sleep anyways. It's tradition. And it looks like the other one, Anita, has aged up to a toddler. Isn't that so much fun for you? And of course, there's not a toddler bed in sight, so now I gotta fix that too. There were a lot of birthdays at Sandy's household. This is Titan. He is now officially a teenager and the full-fledged werewolf, and that is his form. He's like a void. We don't see him. That's okay. Here's Ash, his brother. Um, he's cute, actually. I love his eyes. They really glow. And uh, he also has a dark form just like that. Uh, cause he's a full-fledged werewolf now. Luna, the other triplet, she's, oh my gosh, she looks just like Sandy. You are stunning. Stunning, darling, stunning. And I love you. Um, that's Luna. We have Anita, also aged up. Uh, I don't know why her hair's like that, but you know, she's cute. She's got the eyes. I love the eyes. Um, there's Abby, the youngest. She's doing great. So that is everyone at Sandy's house. As much as I have enjoyed playing with Sandy and her children, I do not want to stick around for raging werewolf teenagers. So we're going to skedaddle before this gets out of control real fast. We still love you dearly, Sandy. A quick hop and skip over and across the street when we come to visit Ryder. He is doing well. Everyone in this household is currently terrified of this thunderstorm. Why won't you come inside, you, you silly boy? Evie is good, not pregnant. Ah, uh, their adopted children, Robbie and Aubrey, are doing great. Hayden, the little girl, is doing well. And Tony, their first little boy, is doing really well with his hat on his head. He likes to wear bucket hats, apparently. That's what you prefer to dress your child in. Okay. All Ryder's family's doing well. Kids are alive. Everyone's just running around here by the thunderstorms. We venture into the city to check on Dixon, who is feeling fine. Colleen is feeling fine. And their beautiful daughter is dancing away to some music. Happy family. No one's kicked to the bucket. Everyone's doing well. It's good to see. It's good to see. I hope you're liking life with mom and dad. Ida, despite being a little sad that she lost her friend and having to call her mom every five seconds because she misses her, is doing well in college, still alive, has made it through her first semester of school, actually doing pretty well. Mike is also succeeding at college and getting through his first semester wonderfully. He does tend to miss his mom, uh, spends most of his time in the magic realm training his magic, and doing well in general. Good job, dude. Yikes, I forgot how many children Ophelia has, and it's hard to keep up sometimes. Fill up! The wonderful, calm Philip is doing well. He is happy. He wants to, um, with, with people. But that's on you, dude, not me. Panya, his wonderful husband, is out here swimming in the pool in the backyard. He's f a little cold, but uh, generally happy and feeling energized. <clears throat> he wants to have a nice chat with Patchy. That's interesting. And beautiful, gorgeous Peggy, Philip, and Panya's daughter is also doing well. She should age up soon. I feel like she's been a kid forever, but... I forget that, uh, I forget she came after the triplets for Sandy King, so. She does love plants, she likes talking to plants, and she's just generally a sweet child. Crunchy is still hanging around, she is Forever Kitty 2.0, I just can't get rid of my pink cat. She hangs out with Philip and Panya, Philip never changes, he's always knitting, and I adore this about him. This family is so sweet, so kind, they are just, they don't do anything. They don't do anything interesting, they just have a happy little life. 